Hey everyone, welcome to another video from the Oklahoma Kayak Spotlight Series. Today we're going to be highlighting another fishing boat, the Jackson Kusa FD. So some quick specs about the boat. The boat is 12 foot, 7 inches long, 35 inches wide, 115 pounds heavy, and has a weight capacity of 450 pounds. So with that, the boat is going to be really stable and be able to hold a lot of gear. So if we go over the features of the boat, starting in the front, we have a front hatch, which gives you plenty of access to the hull for storage, um, adding accessories, whatever you may want to do. It also has a paddle keep on it, so that when you get to your spot, you can shove your paddle blade up in there and your paddle's not flying everywhere. If you move farther down, actually right next to it, you have rod tip protectors. So you have horizontal rod storage on this boat on either side as well, which is a nice feature. Um, if we move down a little bit, you get to the bread and butter of the boat, which is where it gets its name, FD, Flex Drive. You have the Jackson Flex Drive. Um, so it's a, your bicycle style pedaling, and it's got the propulsion like a propeller system. So to bring it out, there's two thumb screws that you unscrew, slide them out. Got to make sure the propeller's up, and then the drive itself pops right out. There are some other internal gearing stuff that is housed in the boat that you don't have to worry about. It's not going anywhere. When you get to your spot, take this out of the back of your truck and just drop it right into the spots and boom, put the thumb screws back, tighten them down, you're good to go. So super easy to take out and put back in. Uh, actually messing with the drive, there's a lever that you pull up, the propeller drops down and to bring it back up, you just push it down and the propeller comes right back up. Uh, it comes up into a center hatch that allows you to remove the weeds um, if you like are fishing a grassy lake or a grassy pond. It gives you access to removing those weeds, which is really convenient. You don't have to like take the whole drive out. You just pop it in, take the weeds out, drop it back down, you're good to go. Another cool thing about the drive is that it's pretty much indestructible. You can go over a log, a stump, um, heck, an underwater dock, and the drive is just going to pop right back up into that hatch without you having to worry about anything. So you're pretty much worry-free when it comes to in damaging the drive. Another cool thing about it is that the blades themselves also have three attack angle settings, so you can change it to where it can be a more aggressive attack angle, so you're going faster, but you're working harder, where you can go slower, work less hard, or you can find that nice in between to where you got a decent speed and you're not working too hard. Um, with that center hatch, it also comes down, so there's, the deck is basically replaced there, and you can stand on that, so your standing platform isn't affected at all. So that's the drive. Um, on the sides of the boats, you have side tracks to where you can add pretty much any accessory that your heart desires rod holders, cup holders, I have a speaker on mine, it's just whatever you want to throw on there. Uh, the rudder, it's got, it's pretty unique, the rudder system they chose to go with. It's got knobs and it's connected to a composite rod which controls the rudder. And pretty much any other rudder is going to be like a string or a cable system, so you might have a little bit of stretch or a little bit of wear down the road. But with this composite rod, it'll be really sensitive and you'll hardly have any trouble with it getting less sensitive. Now if we move to the seat, the seat has a couple different ways to move. It moves forward and backwards on slide tracks in the boat. It also has a high and low position which you secure with a pin so you can pretty much get however comfortable you want. The seat itself is another really comfortable seat. Well padded, high back, wide enough to be comfortable. You'll have no problem on the water for a few hours out on the seat. Uh, under the seat there is a small tackle tray storage area where you could throw a few soft plastics maybe a small tackle box, pretty much whatever you can fit down there, you can throw down there, there's no really rules on that. Um, if we go behind the seat, there's more tracks in the rear cargo area, which is again really convenient for whatever you want to throw back there. And the rear cargo area itself is actually pretty spacious, so you have plenty of room for tackle, a cooler, whatever you want to put back here. It comes standard with two flush mount rod holders, so you don't have to worry about outfitting it to hold all of your rods when you first get it. Um, if we move behind that, there's another hatch back here which gives you access to the hull again. So for installs, whatever you may want to do, it's really easy. But it also gives you um, access to the rudder area. So if you ever need to do maintenance to the rudder or change anything, it's really easy to do. And the rudder itself actually comes out. All you got to do is pull a pin that holds the rudder in place. And then the rudder comes out. So for like transportation, storage, if you're worried about the rudder, really easy to take in and out. In the back of the boat, you don't have to worry about it being rudder ready, or any, rudder ready or anything since it comes with the rudder, but it is power pull ready, so if you decide to add a power pull micro anchor, 
really easy to do. And another quick little thing about the boat is it has standard deck padding. So when you're standing, it's already really comfortable. You don't have to buy a third party deck padding kit or anything. When you also buy the boat, it comes with a goodie bag that has several goodies in it. So again, a cool thing about Jackson is that you don't have to worry about outfitting your boat. The boat pretty much comes ready and good to go. And Jackson too are one of the few companies which is all made in America. So this is pretty much an all American boat. So that was the Jackson Kusa FD. There's some other little stuff, but to try to keep the video short, there wasn't anything important that we missed out. Pretty nice boat, so if you're looking for a good pedal drive, this is a great option for you. Really stable, like I said, quick on the water, pretty maneuverable, all around great comfort, great already accessorized. So that's the entirety of the boat. It's got some awesome features, and it's just an all around great boat. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to catch us next time when we look at another pedal drive. Have a good one.